It's nine o'clock and people are flocking toward the main site of the protests. To approach, they have to go through these security checks. Lit up by mobile phone flashlights, everyone is searched. I'm looking for pointy objects like knives, pens, nail clippers or anything that could hurt the protesters. We confiscate everything and they get it back when they leave. There have been some mistakes. We found people loyal to Bashir, members of his services. They were bringing this type of thing. Once past the barricades, the atmosphere feels more relaxed. Children are with their parents. Protesters form groups to chant songs, while others visit memorials to the martyrs in the fight against the regime. A bit further inside, some men have set up mattresses, ready to spend the night. We are still here. We'll sleep here until something happens. As people are saying, even if the regime falls or stays in place, we will remain here. To encourage the protesters to stay late, concerts are organized. Here, a famous Sudanese group is playing one of their hit songs. Folk music and theatre shows allow people to understand each other. Unlike politics, it's easier to spread messages. It's a common language around the world for everyone and it allows us to say something. By staying in sight, the protesters are putting pressure on the military's transitional government. Their 24-hour presence sends a clear message. They won't give up their fight for democracy.